We've just come back down from Dunfine. And you sort of gaze back at these hills and you think, man, I've just been up there. And it does, it looks far, and it is far. And you, there's a mystical quality that overcomes the creature then. And you think, well, what is it? Why is this so magical? I've just been up there, and, and yet it's so far away, it's so high, it's in the space of a, an hour or two. And it's the same when I got up the Campsy Fells. And, and you come back to the city centre and gaze out your living room window and see the fells in the horizon and say, I've, I've been up there today, you know, and back, you know, beyond the horizon and back. And you realise there's, um, there's a filament, there's a root. Whenever you engage your own locomotive force, you, you walk up a mountain, you walk to a place, there's a, a root that comes out of your body as you locomote, as you move under your own steam and, and, and connects you to that place where you, you're going. So, so from now on, there's a route that connects me to Dunfoyne, that connects me basically wherever I've locomoted, which is all over the valley. So I've got roots, R-O-O-T-S, as well as R-O-U-T-E-S, all over the valley. And, and of course, if anything happens to these places, effectively it happens to me because my roots are in these places. So if someone digs them up or builds on them, they're building on my roots also. And so this is how the entity expands itself and comes to invest itself in place by rooting itself in place. And that has to come from engaging one's own locomotive force. And the embodiment of space is another factor. I've embodied the space between me, between here and Dunfoyne. And that in itself is something magical when you've put that space effectively into your body. Um, the body becomes more spacious, the mind becomes more capacious. And this is the essence of the animal. Animated, aware, alert, spacious. <laughs>